allies. Friends and I are allies. All right, guys, this is uh, this is gonna be my uh, boxed Nintendo collection. But um, first, I just want to give you a little overview of just the loose cards that I got. I'm not gonna just, I'm not gonna go through them. Just show you how many. I, I mean, give you like a little quick view of them. Um, I'm still trying to get them all boxed. Um, these couple right here, I, I have the manuals for, and then the rest are just. You know, loose ones. I got like all the Mega Man's. I don't. I don't have boxed yet. Um, what I usually do, I usually just buy the boxes alone if I can find them, or I'll just buy them complete again and then just sell the cart loose. You know, if I have a double. But I mean, we could just go through. Uh, maybe I don't know. A couple I got Ducktales, um, Friday the Thirteenth, Nineteen Forty Three, Ninja Gaiden Two. Mega Man, Mega Man 3, Mega Man 5, Mega Man 6, River City Ransom, um, you know, Roger Rabbit, nothing really rare that I have loose, uh, Shatterhand, you really can't see that that well, um, No Noise, Final Fantasy, Super C, um, but yeah, so, don't want to make this video too long, so, I'll just show you the box uh, games I have uh, so far. Alright All right, guys, uh, this is going to be the 101 box NES games that I have so far. Um, so I'll start up here, this is like the halfway mark, and then it kind of goes down there, over here. Um, so just a little overview, I've actually decided to start collecting box Nintendo games since the beginning of this year. Um, I did have a couple of box games before that, that I bought years ago when I was younger. But um, right now, I, I pretty much don't buy loose cards anymore. Um, I just buy a box. Um, I've been trying to get as many boxes as I can. Um, I know some games are super rare and super expensive, so... Um, I, I, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to get every box game. I know that's not realistic, but, um, try to get as many as I can. And I only collect licensed games. I don't collect tension cards. I don't collect any of those weird cards that are rare. I'm not, I'm more, I'm more of games that are like for retail, but that were licensed. So having said all that, I'll just start off. Uh, this section right here, this is what I call the essential section. This is like the basic stuff that, I don't know, I feel that you need. Um, but I have this one first. This is just a big box. That's why I put it here. It's, uh, Where in Time is Carmen San Diego? It comes with a dictionary. Uh, pretty random. Then I have The Legend of Zelda, the gold card case. Um, it's, it's actually in mint condition. Like, these, these essential games, I want them to be mint boxed. So, I do have Link. Um, The Adventures of Link, but I don't have it boxed. Um, I have a Super Mario and Duck Hunt combo. Uh, this is actually a reproduction box. This isn't a, a real box that was for retail. Um, the box never existed. Um, this cart only came with a, with the system, so it never it was never in stores by itself. But it's actually a pretty cool reproduction box. Um, and then I got Mario Brothers Two, Super Mario Brothers Two, Mint. I got Super Mario Brothers 3, Mint, of course. Then we got Metroid, the original silver box. We got the first Castlevania. You know, I really love that box. That one's like really good condition. And we got Contra, one of my favorite games. These are the only two Mega Man games that I own boxed. Mega Man 2, which I got years ago. I got this when I was a kid. And then Mega Man 4. Did I say X2? I meant 2, but whatever. I got Mega Man 4, which is in really awesome condition. I got me Battletoads. Always wanted this box, man. It's one of my favorite games of all time for the Nintendo. I used to rent this as a kid all the time. And I got me Double Dragon 1. And Double Dragon 2, which is my favorite NES game. It still has a shrink wrap. It's not sealed, but it still has a, a shrink wrap in it. Ninja Turtles, the first one. 
Ninja Turtles 2 the arcade game. This was my favorite cover as a kid. I, I love this Ninja Turtle cover. It's so tight. They're on skateboards breaking through a brick wall. It's so awesome. And then uh, Ninja Turtles 3 Manhattan Project. I bought this game when I was a kid. Back back in the, when it, back when it first released. But I don't own the original box that I that I bought it with. I do own the original cart. But uh, I bought this box not too long ago. I got Mike Tyson's Punch Out. I got years ago. This is one of the one of the better games for the Nintendo. G.I. Joe, the first one. This one's really good. I really like that game. And then I got G.I. Joe, the Atlantis Factor. This one this one was made from Capcom, by Capcom. And I got Snow Brothers, boxed. Mighty Final Fight. Love this game. This game's pretty cool. Little beat em up. Uh, Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers, the first one. Darkwing Duck. The game's cool too. And then I got the next three are just all uh, Simpson games. The three Simpson games Bart vs. the Space Mutants, Bart vs. the World. And Bart meets Radioactive Man. And I got Bobble Bobble. One of my favorite games on the NES. Ninja Gaiden. First one. I don't have the first one boxed. And I got Contra Force. Um, I bought the box online. This is my 101 game boxed. Um... I actually found the cart years ago at a thrift store for 99 cents. And then I just bought the box online. So, I don't have the manual though. I got roller games still in the shrink wrap. The Punisher. Got my little, uh, I'll move this for now. Tiny Toon Adventures. Diana Commando, Gorilla War is a pretty cool game. I actually like that game. The game's really good. Akari Warriors 2 Victory Road. This game sucks. This game is garbage. Don't ever play that game. So then we'll go down here. Oh, okay, let's see. We got The Immortal. Super Team Games. I don't even. I think you need a power pad for that. I don't even have a power pad. Mystery Quest. This is a really good wrestling game right here. Um, Tecmo World Wrestling. It's a pretty cool. I really like that game. That's probably one of the best wrestling games on Nintendo. Um, we got WrestleMania. Doctor Mario. RC Pro Am, Arch Rivals. Got this years ago as a kid. I used to play this game all the time. Uh, this is the only sealed Nintendo game I own. This is Ice Hockey. I found that at a thrift store for three dollars. Orb 3D, Dracula. I don't think I've even played that game yet. Tiger Healy. Yeah, pretty pretty basic game. These are pretty, um, how do you say this? Highline? Got me, uh, Gradius. I'm going I'm to call it Gradius. <laughs> um, the first Top Gun, um, I still have it in the, I still have the receipt. Well, it came with the receipt. I bought it with the receipt, so I have a shrink wrap in it. On it, then I got the second Top Gun, second mission. Don't judge. I got the Little Mermaid. Honestly, I, I don't think I've really played this game, but I've heard it was good. Believe it or not, I haven't played it yet though. Um, I got Strider. 
X-Men. Nah, this game is pretty bad. Pretty terrible, but... I actually like the box. The box is pretty cool. Spider-Man Return of the Sinister Six. I had this game since I was really little. Uh, birthday Blowout. Bugs Bunny's Birthday Blowout. That game's, I, I really like that game. Fact Xanadu. Yeah. Back to the Future 2 and 3. Oh, here's a good game. Kung Fu Heroes. Love this game. Really cheap game. Look it up if you haven't played it. I suggest... I, I, I suggest that game. That game's cool. Um, I got Flying Dragon. It's alright. Pretty cool. Spy vs. Spy. Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> that game sucks. Mendel Palace. This is a really good game. Really simple. Re really simple to play. Really good. I love it. Power Punch 2. Bought this years ago at like a rental store. They were getting rid of all their NES games. and Yeah, that was one of them. Low G Man. It's okay. Side scroller. It's alright. I got Maniac Mansion. Uh, yeah. This is that's kinda like a it's cool, but it's like a point and click game. Kinda I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Kid Nikki Radical Ninja. I like the box, it's just pink. It's like the most random color to make a box for a radical ninja, you know, it's just so freaking weird. Um Crystallis. I believe that's an RPG. Dino Ricky. One of the hardest games I've ever played, dude. I can't even beat the first level. Starship Hector. I, lo I love this box. I, I love the color of these boxes, man. They're so colorful. They're like mini books. Mock Rider. <coughs> Sorry, I had to sneeze there. Oh, uh, I got... What do you say? This Burry Fighter. Um, Zen the Intergalactic Ninja. This is a really cool game boxed. Yeah, this is one of the later NES games from Konami. And I got Commando. Sky Kid. Power Blade. Thrilla Safari. Love that. This is my favorite box for the Nintendo so far. I think it's I think it's the coolest looking one. Adventures of Lolo. Adventures of Lolo 3. I got this for free. My sister moved into the house she currently lives in. And when she moved in, the previous owners left a Nintendo with some games. And this was the only one they left boxed. So I was able to get this for free. Uh, Kabuki, Kabuki Quantum Fighter. Nightmare on Elm Street. Random game. Dragon Warrior 2. Um, and then I got the gray box. In the classic series of the Legend of Zelda. And I got uh, the Bard's Tale. Uh, this one's Wizardry. Um, Knight of Diamonds. Still has stickers. Own this movie for eight bucks. Yeah, right. Sure. Um, now, these games, I don't have them in the cases. Uh, I gotta get more protective cases. But these are more games that are just... <laughs> they're like... <laughs> they don't have to really have cases because they're not that great of games. Um, Magic Darts. Wheel of Fortune. Fester's Quest, Rollerball, oh wait, Ferrari Grand Prix Challenge, Fast Break, Magic Johnson's Fast Break, sorry, Othello, Platoon, Fist of the North Star, this box is pretty deep. Tecmo Bowl, everybody's favorite football game. Then there's baseball. Uh, what is this? What is this? Millipede. 
hoops. This game sucks. Um, this is probably the worst box I own. This is a uh, image fight. I gotta get that box. I gotta get that rebox. That looks fucking terrible. I'm gonna move my little Mega Man to the side. This is the last two games. Desert Desert Commander. And the last box game I have is Stack Up. I have it. Uh, I actually made myself a little. I guess you say protective sleeve for it. There is no protective box for this game since it's like bigger than all the other ones. But um, yeah, I got this game for fifty bucks. I still have the tag. I'll leave the tag. I just you know how much I pay for it. But the box is in a really excellent shape. Um, so yeah, but that's it, guys. That is my first Nintendo milestone: a hundred and one games. Um, hopefully you enjoyed that. You know, I try to get the box games that I really want first. Like, like all these games right here, I really, really want it. Like, these are my favorite games. So, you know, I sought, after, I sought for them. Like, I went looking for them personally. You know, I didn't just buy them because they were cheap really quick. And these I got in lots or whatever. But, you know, I really want the games that I like the most box. So, um, if I ever get another 100 Nintendo box games, I'll make another milestone video. But that was it, guys. I appreciate you watching. Peace out.